How you doing? This is Dave Johnson, the Grill Beast. Now look, we're actually doing another video where we're doing some short ribs in our barrel house cooker, but we need a snack while those are cooking. So we decided to do another video on bacon wrapped onion rings. So um, we got our stuff together and we're just gonna show you how we do it. Uh, you just wanna get a big onion. Uh, some people say you use the Verdalia onions. I don't care, as long as it's a big, big onion. I'm good with it. The thing that makes it kind of hard is uh, when you wrap the bacon around the onion, uh, the onion is going to want to break. So it's kind of delicate in a way. So you just need to be very careful. Don't be in a rush. Cut your onions or your rings uh, so they're, they're kind of thick so you have something to work with. All right, let me get this outside layers out of here. All right, so like I said, you want to go a good solid half inch thick. I mean, I've never really measured it, but I bet if I put a ruler to it, let's see. All right, so right here, I'm gonna just break them apart. Be careful not to break your onion. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. I might leave these like double walled. Yeah. So we'll make these double walled to, okay, that's a double, it's a double, double. Got another double here. Let me get a couple more double walls here. Okay, and that's probably all we're gonna have enough bacon for. Cause in my fridge, I had some jalapeno bacon. So we're gonna use the rest of that jalapeno bacon up on these onion rings for our snack. So, um, and you do use a lot of bacon when you do these. So, um, if you want a lot, make sure you, you're prepared with the bacon. All right, so you just start wrapping. One piece of bacon left, so it's gonna to have to be a small one. Okay, we got them all wrapped up. As you can see, it took nine pieces of bacon to do four onion rings. So um, we ran out of bacon, but all we need is a snack till our ribs are done. So I do have a little bit of uh, Byron's butt rub I'm gonna sprinkle on. But you know, the bacon stands mostly by itself, but we'll, we'll throw a little bit, of, little bit of bad Byron's bit, uh, butt rub. All right, we're gonna get this over to, I got my ceramic smoker um, all fired up. It works like a grill and a smoker if you're familiar with them. It, it's gonna be over direct heat, but I'm gonna keep it around the edges so, it's, so it does, we don't get any flare ups. Um, I got the, the cooker at about four or 500 degrees. We wanna cook it a little fast. I wanna make sure this bacon gets as crispy as it can. So it's gonna be about 20 minutes, all right? Let's get it over there. All right, as you can see, we're looking at about 450 degrees. But you know, this thing is never right, so it's, it's around that. It's good enough. Everything's nice and hot. But like I said, I'm gonna put these right around the edges, just so, kind of help us from getting flare-ups. I might check them in about 15 minutes, maybe give them a little spin. But that's it. See you in 20 minutes. All right, so while the onion rings are cooking, we're gonna make the sauce, the dipping sauce. It's a sriracha, mayonnaise, paprika sauce. All right, so we're gonna do about a half a cup of mayo, any kind of mayo you want. And that's there, right about that. It doesn't have to be perfect, all right? We are gonna do uh, about two tablespoons of sriracha. So let's say one, two, and a little bit more. We like sriracha. Um, about a half a teaspoon of paprika, which 
You don't want to go too heavy on this. And maybe a little bit more. Because after you get it made, you can taste it. And if you want a little bit spicy, add a little bit more spice to it. Throw some uh, salt and pepper in there. And um, about two te uh, teaspoons of lime. So make sure you roll your limes before you cut them, which is probably going to be, if it's a small lime, about a half a lime. There, it works, and just get it all mixed up. Now that's not bad. So as you can see, kind of throw it together, whisk it around, taste it. If it tastes too mayonnaise-y, throw a little bit of extra stuff in there, because you don't want it to taste like mayonnaise. All right. Let's let that sit and probably about another 15 minutes, our onion ring snack will be done. We'll see you when we take them onion rings off the grill. All right, our onion rings are about done. Look, I'm gonna flip this over because we had raw meat on this side. So flip it over, put the onion rings on there. Woo! All right. They're hot, I should have had my beast armor on. Then we gotta let them cool down a little bit, but let's get them over there. Let them cool down and get a taste test going on. As you can see, it's still raining. Oh man, they smell super, super good. All right, we're ready for the taste test. And I'm just gonna start off with the smallest one here. It's a little bit of dipping sauce. They're still hot. They are delicious. Oh my God. So that's all there is to it. Remember, if you like the video, share it with your friends. If you have a question, ask it below. If you have a comment, make a comment below. As with most of our videos, if you want a chance to win a hat, apron, or a t-shirt, comment below with the hashtag beast ring and we'll tell you, we'll let you know who wins. Subscribe to our channel. Check us out on grillbeast.com because we sell shit. Peace out, go grill you something.